Hey there chemists. In this quick demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade lava lamp uh, using just a glass container. I have a, a skinny glass here so I don't consume too much stuff. Uh, you need some food coloring, some water, some oil, and then an Alka-Seltzer tablet or a generic brand version of that, which are those fizzy tablets that they sell at most drugstores and convenience stores. I'm going to first put a little bit of food coloring in my glass, just a couple of drops, doesn't matter what color obviously, this is just to make it easier to see. And then top that off with a little bit of water, it dissolves quite quickly. And then layer some oil on top, remember oil and water do not mix, so the aqueous food colored water and the oil will not mix with each other. If you use too big of a glass, you'll end up using too much oil for this, so I would err on the side of a skinnier, narrower glass. If I was at school, we'd be using a graduated cylinder for this. And there they are. They're already layered together. It almost looks lava lamp-ish, if you've ever seen one of those things that have the different layers of, of immiscible liquids. Now, what's going to happen when we put an Alka-Seltzer tablet in this? Alka-Seltzer is a solid mixture of two things that actually react with each other, but they're reacting with each other very slowly in this solid state. So slow that it's really un undetectable right now. Uh, but I'll take a piece of it and drop it in and within seconds of it hitting the aqueous layer at the bottom we definitely see gas evolution and what we're noticing are bubbles that are rising up what's happening is that the solid citric acid that is in here is reacting with the solid uh, baking soda sodium bicarbonate and you get an acid base reaction it turns the bicarbonate ion into carbonic acid which you remember quickly decomposes into carbon dioxide and water. Uh, and as it creates these bubbles, it takes little globules of the food colored water up with it. They do not mix with the oil, so they sort of fall back down. And it should come as no surprise they're on the lower layer because the aqueous layer is denser than the vegetable oil layer. And you're never actually consuming any of the oil or the food coloring or the water. Uh, so you could let this settle and you'll have some citrate byproduct that just dissolves, but you could certainly charge it up again by adding more pieces of a fresh Alka-Seltzer tablet. Just conserve it as you go. And without any electricity, it recharges. You get the right kind of glass. You could even shine a nice light underneath. You get a very interesting homemade lava lamp effect. Thanks for watching.